Here is a free first person shooter game that you can play without even downloading. Just go to your browser on your PC, write vinge.io and you will be loaded straight into the game. You have three types of maps on this game. Official maps, which is your normal game modes like team deathmatch and free for all. Sniper only maps, which you can find a decent amount of players playing. I had a glitch here on these two shots. And parkour maps, which is more like Fall Guys kind of a game mode where you have to go through obstacles to reach the end and you will have checkpoints on the way which you will respawn from upon dying or falling down. And just like Fall Guys, you will be racing with other players to reach the end, but it can also be played alone as you won't find many players playing this game mode. When loading into a game, unless you're signed up with an email, you will be spawned with a different gamer name every time you play a new game. Jumping seems to be the movement meta in this game, as it makes you move a little bit faster and makes you a harder target to be hit by enemies. You will be shown an ad when you're loading into a new game, which you can skip in 5 seconds. Unless if the game is loaded already, then you will be loaded into the game straight away without watching the ad. The game is very responsive with clear audio and you can hear footsteps of the enemy when they are near and you can tell where they are. It's really easy to find the game and most of the maps are populated with players. One thing that I've had trouble with is I'm used to pressing shift in other games to run and this game doesn't have the option to run. Instead shift button is being used as secondary button for aiming down sight. So my muscle memory was making me press shift to run but I was ending up aiming down sight instead. So you need to change the focus button assignment in the control settings from shift to any button that you are not using. Sniping is extremely fun on this game and you will love it if you are a sniper fan. In this game mode you have to escort the car to the destination and it will only move when you are inside the yellow circle. And this is a gun game mode where you have to get 2 kills with each gun and then the gun will be automatically changed and the first person to get all kills using all guns wins. The time to kill is moderate, not fast and not slow, which is perfect. You have unlimited grenades, but you have to wait 3 to 5 seconds for the grenade to charge before throwing the other one. And yes, this is official. The worst gun in the game is the shotgun. The assigned button for throwing the grenade is letter F instead of the middle mouse button and you cannot change it to the middle mouse button because when you're trying to assign the middle mouse button the browser will think you are trying to add a scroll pen instead of changing the button assignment. The game claims it is producing 165 frames per second for me but I'm not too sure about that because Google Chrome is capped at 60 frames but it's for sure nothing less than 60. You have different characters in the game, each with their own different abilities. Some can throw a grenade or an axe at the enemy, and some can dash towards them or throw a hook at them. You can get credit for unlocking characters and cosmetics from watching ads. You can get around 200 VG points from watching a 30 seconds ad. But you have to wait 5 minutes to watch another ad. Or you can buy VG credit using normal payment methods. These are the types of guns that you have in the game. Two assault rifles, which are the SCAD and the M4. One LMG, one SMG, one shotgun, one sniper, one handgun, which is a Desert Eagle. And throwables, which are different for each character. There seems to be a little glitch with the way the handgun is carried and when you reload the LMG, but it's nothing that will affect your gameplay. You have the option to select the server region and the map, but the parkour and sniper maps seems to be glitched and you cannot see the tick on them, so one of these maps might be selected without you knowing. And that's it for today's video. Please like and subscribe, there will be more reviews about more games. If you have any questions, comment down below. You can find the link to the game in the description. Thank you so much for watching.